Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 4th of July. 4th of July being Independence Day, that means that the US markets will be closed for a public holiday. Um, next week's focus really is going to be on the US labour market. Uh, the strength of the US labour market really is going to be top of mind for traders uh, to gauge inflationary pressures and growth risks. The JOLTS and ADP data uh, released on Wednesday and Thursday respectively followed by the all-important payrolls release on Friday. Market expects 3.5% unemployment rate in June, down from May's 3.6% reading. We had some weak spending data uh, last week and remarks by uh, Fed Chair Powell put hourly earnings and the participation rates in the spotlight, as well as to gauge the path of monetary policy. Data on consumer credit will also be released on Friday. Let's take a look at other releases of notes on Tuesday. We get May factory orders looking for a 0.5% print there, up from last month 0.3%. Capital investments uh, moderate, moderately positive uh, so far in the second quarter. Then on Wednesday, we get services PMI looking for a 51.6 there versus the last print of 51.6. Inflation is stripping some momentum out of services, but uh, the sector generally remains in robust health, manufacturing a little bit weaker versus the last print of 55.9. We look for a 54.3 this time around. We also get on Wednesday FOMC June meeting minutes. Focus really is on discussions of the path of policy for 2022. On Thursday, May trade balance looking for a negative 84.9 billion print there. The deficits would remain uh, wide. And then, obviously, on Friday, we get that all-important non-farm payrolls data. Um, median expert is for a 250k print. Uh, jobs growth moderately, but uh, moderating, but still healthy, really. Uh, keeping pressures on the unemployment rates and adding wages growth. Look for the 0.3% uh, there print on the average hourly earnings. And we round out the week in the US with May wholesale inventories. Final estimate, 2% print, restocking continuing at a robust uh, pace. And then May Consumer Credit, looking for a 30 print there. Aggressive monetary tightening is likely to really cool uh, credit growth in the US. Looking at the dollar index here from a technical perspective, we're still tracking this ending diagonal, looking for an ABCDE pattern here. So whilst we hold above the uh, pivot 103.90 in the ascending, trendline support here. We are looking for that test of the 10640s, uh, 106.20 area. We have the yearly R3 there, 106.42. And so what I'm going to be watching for there is momentum divergence to be maintained, bearish momentum divergence, looking for bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, initially targeting a move back down to test the base of the wedge there at 101.35. At this stage, it would take a loss of this ascending trend line to support to suggest we already have a high in place. And then again, the target would be that 101.33 area as the first downside objective. Moving to the Eurozone. And in terms of data next week, uh, Monday, we get July Centex Investor Confidence. Last time, negative 15.8, looking for a deterioration here to a negative 20 print. The growth outlook remains very weak in the Eurozone. Then on Tuesday, uh, services PMIs, 52.8, final estimate for the month. And then on Wednesday, we get May retail sales, uh, negative 1.3% last time, looking for a 0.6% positive print now. Uh, but cost of living pressures are weighing on retail trades. And that rounds out the data of notes uh, for the Eurozone next week. So from a technical perspective, Euro dollar continues to remain below this all important trend line resistance here. We did get a bit of profit taking as we retested lows into the 10360s on Friday. But whilst we hold uh, resistance here at this 10550s, we look for an extension down, the first downside objective being 10240 and then 10174 there on the weekly time frame. At this stage, it would really take a close through this trend channel uh, resistance above 106.20 uh, to suggest that we can see a further corrective move up into test 
resistance at the 10730s. Moving to the UK, in terms of data, Tuesday, services PMIs, 53.4 expected final estimate for the month. And that is really the only data of note that we have in the UK next week. Very light data count there, so likely to take, uh, price action likely to take its lead from the, the dollar index. Uh, sterling, similar to the euro, got some profit taking into the close on Friday. Potential here is if we can get through the pivot at uh, 122.40s, then we can see an extension up into the trend channel resistance and the quality objective 124.30s before once again looking for another leg to the downside to complete the sequence. But whilst we remain under this 122.30 uh, monthly, new monthly pivot there, then we are looking for an extension down. The next downside objective is 118.15. And from there, we would look for uh, another potential corrective move to get a retest of this uh, trend channel that we're currently trading in. But for now, the pressure is, uh, is to the downside. And like I say, need to get a close back through 122.50s, 122.60s to take some of this pressure off. In Japan, uh, data of note next week, Tuesday, Nikkei Services PMI, final estimate for the month with 54.2. And then on Friday, we get May household spending, uh, looking for a positive 2.1% print there. Pent up demand outweighs the purchasing power concerns for the Japanese economy. And we also get the May current account balance, looking for our 162 billion yen there. Import value lifts on that much weaker yen and higher energy costs. And that's the only data of note uh, in Japan next week. So from a technical perspective, we're still tracking this uh, ending diagonal pattern, looking for the test of 137.60s from there. As long as we maintain momentum divergence here, I'm watching bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, initially targeting a move back down to 131.30s. At this stage, we'll take a closing loss of this ascending trend line to sports, suggest we already have a high in place, and again, initial target 131.30s on the downside. Rounding out the week down under in Australia, in terms of uh, data of note on Monday, June inflation gauge, inflation well above the RBA's target band, looking for 4.8% print there. Um, we also get June ANZ job ads, last time 0.4%. Job vacancies are plenty amid that tightened labour supply, which is a global theme at the moment. Uh, then heading into Tuesday, we get the all-important RBA policy decision. Market widely expects another 50 basis point move and a prompt return towards the neutral rate. So last time that, uh, that increase of 50 basis point put, set the rate at 0.85%. So we're looking for it to move up to 1.35% uh, this week. Then on Thursday, get the May trade balance looking for uh, 10.9 billion there. Imports forecasts uh, plus 3%. Exports forecast uh, plus 2.5%, predominantly led by coal. And that rounds out the uh, week in terms of data down under in Australia. From a technical perspective, Aussie dollar broke through that support zone. We're looking at the 6840s. So now all eyes really are on a test of the equality objective versus the swing high from 7660s down into this 6650s, 6640s. From there, I'll be watching for momentum divergence and bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side, looking for a move up into trend channel resistance, 69.50s. We're going to round out the week this week with a bonus chart here, looking at Bitcoin. Um, we're tracking a potential five-wave sequence. We're looking for the test, the equality objective at 12,185 in this broader ABC corrective pattern. Uh, moving to the daily chart here, whilst we hold this support at 18,670, we look for a test of the equality objective, 22,400, and just above there, the uh, trend channel resistance, 23,600. Bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, targeting that equality objective, 12,185. At this stage, uh, any loss of the current support at the lows of 17,600 uh, would, again, want to be in on the short side there, targeting this equality objective. And then when we get down there, we're going to look to see if, uh, if buyers step back in in a meaningful fashion, watch for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side from that 12,185 downside objective. At this stage, 
really take a loss of the 9,379, the weekly uh, high volume load, to suggest that we are heading meaningfully lower. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing July 4th. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.